I think a lot of drivers look for that super trick, you know, secret that the very, very best drivers in the world do. And yet what they do, you know, the Lewis Hamiltons, the Scott Dixons, the, you name that, that top driver in the world, what they do better than everybody else is they just do the basics better than everybody else. The advanced stuff is just doing the basics better. So before you start going looking for that super trick thing, make sure that you have refined and refined and fine tuned your basic skills, whether that's, you know, application of the brake, release of the brake, how you turn the wheel, where you're looking, how you're using your vision, how you're sensing the car, how you're getting back to power, where you're getting back to power, the line you're using, all of those things are just basics. And the more you refine those and fine tune them, the more advanced you will appear. You know, one of the most basic things is just hitting your marks, being online consistently. And while I think that there are sometimes we can get too caught up in that and to the point of, I gotta get to that apex and I'm gonna fight the car to get there. There does come a point in time where we have to kind of let the car go to where it wants to go and you know, make the most of that. But the best drivers are very consistent and sharp and precise with their driving. I think Jackie Stewart said that uh, you know, it's all about economy of movement. It, the less you do in the car and the smoother you are, and the sooner you get that done, the better prepared you're going to be for what's coming up ahead. So get it done early, get it done right, be tidy with it, and then get back to power. The ability to visualize or use mental imagery uh, like athletes in every other sport does you know, that, that is critical in terms of um, being able to picture yourself, not just visually seeing yourself, but also f imagining in your mind what you can feel and what you can hear. And the more, the better we are at doing that before we get into the car, the better we're going to drive. It is a learned skill, you know. It, unfortunately, when we're little kids, we have great imaginations. And then for some reason through, through the years, it's almost like we're told, you know, get real, don't imagine things. Well. As race drivers, we need to imagine, and we need to imagine in ultimate detail, you know, high definition. Well, I think it's interesting that some drivers adapt to certain tracks better than other drivers. You know, street circuits, you kind of have to, you kind of have to attack them. And yet, you know, if you're on a very fast flowing track, maybe more like Road America, you know, that's less about attacking the track and more about carrying momentum and getting back to power and being smooth and tidy with it. So, uh, you know, some drivers, they can drive any track. That's because they've got more versions of their programming. And again, we can build that programming mentally. If you're the kind of driver that's very flowing and smooth and you need to, to build this program for attacking the track, you can do that mentally through visualization. You know, if, or flipped around the other way, if you're more of an attacking aggressive driver and you need to kind of smooth your driving out, you can practice that in your mind before you ever get to the track. Get yourself comfortable in a chair and Try to approximate the kind of the seating position you're going to be in your, in your car and then close your eyes, slow your brain down and imagine everything that you can feel, everything that you can hear, everything that you can see. And the more realistic you make it in your mind, the more realistic it's going to be for that programming, the programming that you're doing. Managing your change of speed. A change of speed is, you know, if you come into a corner and you overslow the car, you know, even by one or two mile an hour, you're a little bit too slow. Our sensing, our traction sensing says, hey, we got some grip, let's go to power. So we get on power. Now we've caused the car to kind of load transfer to the front, load transfer to the rear. And in doing so, we've actually created this artificially low limit, one or two or three miles an hour lower than we possibly could. So part of the job is to minimize that change in speed, that delta between top speed, minimum speed, top speed again. And obviously that we're talking about carrying momentum through the corner, and that can be taken too far where you carry so much entry speed and so much speed in the corner that then you're late back to power. But sometimes we over slow, get back to power, and the car moves around and we think, ah, I'm driving the car at the limit. Look at me, I'm a driving god. But uh, you've created this artificially low limit by creating too great of a change in speed. So minimize or manage your, your change of speed in a corner.